again Cajon drummers. As you can see I'm very well prepared for a new Cajon tutorial today. We've got the belt clip metronome and of course a new pattern to work on. It's a double paradiddle today and let's get into breaking it down so that you guys can play it yourselves. So just a little checklist for today's video. We're going to start off with the pattern itself. Following that we'll study the dynamics and then finally, we'll go through some examples of how to use what we've learnt. So, item number one on our list, let's get stuck into it. We have a double paradiddle here, which means we're playing right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And in the case of this pattern, I've organised it as 16th note triplets. The best thing to do right now, if you're on your computer, is check out the description below this video. I've left a link for the sheet music. Um, it's on Mike Johnston's Groove Scribe. It's a very handy tool. It means you can speed up and slow down the music as you like, and follow the chart along as we practice. Okay, let's start us off at 40 beats per minute, and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper. Now for me, counting 16th note triplets at such a low tempo can be pretty difficult, but I think it's also a very good exercise as well. So it can be really difficult to try and take all of that in in one piece, so what I like to do now is just break it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. So let me walk through the groove with you and we'll go from there. Okay, let's treat this as piece number one. Now we're going to add a little bit more onto that piece. So now we'll add the last piece in. So the best reason for breaking it into those smaller pieces is that if you're new to the double paradiddle and rhythms like this on Cajon, it can be a little bit daunting to remember where your first right right is and then of course the second left left is. So you're not just playing the same sticking all the way through, you've got to remember to switch it up twice in one whole session. When we break it up into the smaller pieces you go Alright, I've got just one switch up that I need to do. And then you stop and you kind of have a break and eventually when that feels comfortable you can add in the second change up. So let's move along now to dynamics because there's one big thing that I haven't been able to talk about yet and that is what's going on with these corner hits. So we'll talk about dynamics now, and if you need some more time just learning the rhythm, practicing your double paradiddle, of course you've got that whole half of the video to watch again if you need, and uh, the interactive sheet music, link in the description. Now dynamics, in my opinion, are, are all about using your feel of the cajon 
to really bring out the expression in what you're playing. So yes, it's a lot about your quiet notes and your loud notes, but also you might notice on your cajon that there are subtly different sounds around that front plate. So the first one that I want to explain is, at least on most cajons, you're going to feel a slightly different sound between the edge and the middle. And if you really want to accentuate that, try using even half your hand when you get to the edge. That's one of the ingredients of this particular pattern anyway. And when you're looking at the sheet music for this particular pattern, you'll see those notes with the little X's on them. So on a drum kit, that's like a, a cross stick, like a sort of sound. And the closest thing for us right now is going to be that side note. It's just a little bit woodier, there's less snare. And when you can use the distinction between those two sounds, you can use that texture in this pattern. As one last way to explain that, I'll just show you this as well. I'm going to take the bass out of this groove and play just up top on the snare and uh, let you hear the difference that it makes adding in that dynamic. And now without that, So you can hear that there's really something lacking when we don't have the, the distinction between those two sounds. And our second piece of dynamic information for this pattern is at the end of the bar, we've got, at least in notation form, uh, a couple of tom hits. And the reason I've chosen tom hits is, is more or less so that it's a lighter sound than the big bass on beat one of the bar. So those last three, those last three notes of the rhythm, we've got one knock up on the corner, and then two bass hits with the left hand. So what I'm trying to work on here is have those last two bass sounds as kind of like a medium, and then the next bar starts with a big bass hit. And if it helps to that effect, you can even try playing those last two left hand strokes a little higher up than the following stroke on the right hand. Because I'm playing in an open space right now, there's not so much reverb, so I wonder if it would sound a little bit nicer and a little more dynamic in some of the other spaces that I like playing the cajon in. Um, if you're interested in that kind of thing, don't forget uh, last week's video was all about that concept. So let's get on to the last step now. We're going to take what we've learned today and yeah, come up with a couple of ways to use it. You could use it as a complex fill. You can use that double paradiddle rudiment as a way to add some variation to a 6-8 groove. I actually really love that one and uh, as a quick little exercise that you can do if you find that interesting, uh, play just standard 16th note triplets and then swap into double paradiddle and then swap back. I'll just play this one on my knees.
Well, I hope that gives you some new ideas to practice on the cajon. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. And of course, let me know if there are any questions as well. Uh, if you'd like to keep up to date with the channel, uh, Cajon Groove Guide, when I upload new videos. If you'd like to know about it, hit that subscribe button and uh, of course you'll be first to know when there's a new video. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks very much.